What up, YouTube? Bigaloo, Bigaloo, East Coast Review, back again with another tutorial. That's right. Today we're here to do a tutorial on how to do a build on the Beast. Basically, the Beast comes with three atomizers when you first pick it up. Okay, when you get it in the box, it's going to come with a uh, vertical dual coil. I think there's a Clapton in that dual coil and that vertical, which is a stainless steel wire, I think. And then there's going to be another one in there that's going to be a sec, uh, sectuplet coil. It's the one that's got the three coil holes, vertical, and the big ass, uh, but they're small coils. But, you know, you can only vape them so much, though. You know, you could vape them roughly anywhere between 90 and 120 watts on both of those atomizers. But there's another building deck in there that's actually a rebuildable atomizer that you could build on, and it has pre-built... Uh, some sort of fused alien staple clapton coils, some sort of crazy coils that are built onto it already. The only thing I didn't like is, is that they come in four millimeter diameter. So what I did was I took my um, my center punch, which is a three millimeter Stanley center punch. I put it through there, tightened up the coils, pulled them back as far as I could to tighten up the coil. Then I loosened the uh, grub screws on the deck, pushed the coils in, snipped the legs, and then centered nicely my two coils okay now since i didn't do the build of the coils I, I i'm looking at it. i don't know what kind of coils there are maybe you guys can tell me maybe they're just basically you know basic alien claptons or maybe they're just fused claptons and that's it um but i do know this though i do know that i tried vaping them at all different types of uh wattages and i just kept going higher and higher and higher and higher because it takes a lot of power to ramp up those coils so currently i'm rocking my smoke x cube ultra 220 watts i'm rocking it at 220 watts okay this thing is firing at 220 watts the maximum output of this device basically and since i had started i started with full batteries i've taken five drags total on this build and I'm at already about an eighth, or I'm sorry, a third of the way down in battery level, okay? And juice-wise, in the video, I filled this tank up with juice. Five drags basically knocked it down to there. That was only five drags. So maybe, based on the height of everything, maybe you're gonna, I'm going to get like a total of maybe 25 or 26 drags at 220 watts, you know? But, you know, that's if you're chain vaping, obviously. And then there's the wicking material itself. When it wicks, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stay wicked for quite a while. So maybe I'll get more than 25 drags. Realistically, maybe I'll probably get about 40-something drags out of this tank. Now, uh, I use a wick material, a very simple, easy wicking type of wicking material. It's from this company, uh, wetwicksupply.com, okay? And what they have is they got these wicks that have like a shoelace type of um, coating, like a cover at the end of the cotton, basically. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Basically, it looks like you snipped your shoelace. It's got a little plastic covering at the one side of the cotton, so you could pass that through your coil easily. And I thought that was a great idea because you just could wick, like, instantly. You don't have to sit there and twist the end of the cotton, stick it through, pull it through with a plier, and... You know, sometimes I make my cotton a little too bulky, and while I'm pulling it through, I end up pulling my coil with me. And that's after I heated up my coil. So now i got to take the cotton out, sit there, pulse it again, make sure it glows evenly, and then do the wicking again. And that becomes a pain in the ass, you know what I mean? So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to dive up close. I'm going to show you the building deck itself. Then I'm going to just basically pulse it, wick it, wet it, vape it. And that's it. So let's dive in close. Let's check it out. So basically, when you wick this styled RBA, you basically pass your wick through the coil, and down on the sides, there's little channels here, okay, that lead into an opening on the side of the RBA, which you can see it through, okay? Basically, when you put your top cap and you screw it down on here, the tank itself sits on just the outside where this orange ring is, so between the walls of the cover, which will be right here, so between the actual glass of the tank and the wall of this thing, 
there's a small opening here their juice will come into you can see my screwdriver passing around in there basically you see it pound bouncing in and out so basically this will be blocked off with cotton okay this channel will be blocked off with cotton therefore you will see uh, the wick will get wet and then it will wick your coils basically so it's a nice RBA deck basically you have a velocity style two post deck with four holes and Allen grub screws my only gripe is the Allen grub screws on this tank sucks so if you could find Allen grub screws that don't strip out as easy that would be nice uh, probably look online at an electrical parts store somewhere online I'm not actually sure the size of these grub screws but they fucking suck is feeling tight I need a minute to figure this out Watch over to it at the middle of the night There's just some things I just can't get There should have been a better reason why I just took back decided to collide I thought it passed a ton of lives apart watts these clouds are fucking dense thick flavorful amazing fucking clouds let me tell you wow mm -mm -mm. yeah so the juice that I'm vaping in here mr. Zeppeli is a strawberry filled uh, Zeppeli with powdered sugar now if you don't know what a Zeppeli is it's a lot like a beignet from New Orleans it's just basically a fried dough of powdered sugar so uh, and, and and this one's like a strawberry fried dough with powdered sugar it's just fucking amazing such a great vape if you're into those fried type of e-liquids you're gonna fucking go ape shit over this one I mean this one I got in a day and I already killed a bottle in a day so easy to drink liquid out of this thing I mean it's just it just burns it up I mean insanely insane amounts of liquid you end up going through it and I'm vaping at 220 watts now can I vape it lower because some people are like dude why are you showing people to vape too high well I'll tell you what I'll vape it at 180 right 180 I can vape it at 180 but at 180 I'm at 5.5 volts which in a sense 5.5 volts is not enough to power this thing you know, I could probably throw this on a series box or a series build type of box, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to throw it on my pulse width modulation box. I'm going to see how well it vapes on there, basically. So let's see how we do with that one. This is my Mod Father pulse width modulation box. You may have seen it in the past. This is the Mod Father. And let's see, let's throw these batteries in here real quick. Whoa. 
works good on pulse width. I'm going to crank up the amperage on the pulse width. So now I'm at 6.4 volts. Whoop! That was hot. Unbelievably hot. I'm going to bring it down a little. Still mega hot. Pulse width modulation you cannot beat. Dope fucking box. This is the Mod Father Incorporated. Great fucking boxes, by the way. And look at that. Since the build, I filled this up. And look where I'm at. And we're done. I could see the, uh, the opening for where the juice feeds into the channel. And we're basically done. <laughs> Whew. So from me to YouTube, peace out before I pass out. Laters.